Hello, welcome, Devil Sniper here, this is episode number 12, this is Silvers 2 Division 1 and we're currently playing 20 games, 18 wins, 1 draw, 1 loss. As you will see on the screen, we are currently in Division 2, we are 2 victories away from entering the Dragon's Den. And yes, when I go and face those dragons, my proposal is to improve my sweaty silver team, because it is just absolutely audacious until I meet this side, FC Barcelona, without the Barcelona players. But it's a decent side. I mean, he's got Pirlo, who I think is fantastic. One of my favourite players. Marchetti in goal is absolutely unbelievable. He has got Cavani up front. Now, Cavani, I find, to be a funny animal. He can play so well at times and uh, completely blow out of the water his really poor work rates. And other times he can just live up to his work rates and be absolutely poor. So I'm hoping that he's got the broken Cavani and I can dominate this guy. Because five at the back is hard to play against. But if you have a very nice 3-5-2 team and play Wimbledon-esque football... Knock the ball over the top into Gabby, who just puts in a beautiful cross. And look at his defender. Oh, you would be raging. You would be... I would be raging. I would be raging if that happened to me. It looked like what happened... Well, basically what happened when the ball came over, his, his defender went to control it, knocks it into Mayuka, and because Mayuka is such an absolute legend, he played a 1-2 with the post. He just rolls that way. I can't help it. He's just godly. He's just godly. And then Mayuka sticks the ball into Gabby, and Gabby sticks it in the back of the net. Do you see how simple it is to break down five at the back? It's not difficult, honestly, to God. It is not difficult. Just buy yourself these ingredients. Mayuka Lukaku, Gabi Labonga Pacehaw. Job done. That's all you need. All you need. And such is the, the brilliance of Lukaku. He's injured. But I just put Mayuka in cam. And I put Lukaku further up the pitch. So he has less running to do because he likes being in the striker role. He's good in the striker role. He's brilliant. Look at the football. Sterling with a great ball over the top into Mayuka. Mayuka into <gasps> Tete. What a goal. What a goal. I love Tete. Tete and Diami, the two best silver CDMs you will find in a BPL silver squad. Even in the BPL, they are absolutely fantastic. Again, that just highlights the absolute brilliance of Mayuka to be that cheeky. As you can see from the half-time half stats, I'm dominating. I'm absolutely dominating. The right person is leading. In fact, I, I feel I should have a few more goals. But hey-ho, what can you do? Gabby has the ball. He starts diving in. I tried the fake shot. Failed with it. Got the ball. And I don't know how I put that wide of the post. I'm quite baffled. But my favourite goal is Lukaku. Look at that header. The way he drifts in and just flicks the ball on was absolutely fantastic. Unfortunately, my opponent didn't think it was a fantastic goal. And after 55 minutes... He put me in double figures. We have now reached double figures for rage quitters. I'm not sure if that's something we should uh, treat as a milestone or just laugh at. But it's quite amusing to have, after 21 games, had 10 people rage quit on us. Which is um, unbelievable statistics. We go into our, our second and final game of the episode. And as you can see, he's got a fantastic side. Absolutely fantastic. He's got some pace on the wings. He's got a little bit of pace up front. And he's got Mario Gomez. I don't rate Gomez. He's awful. Absolutely awful, but... Uh, uh, S-Wine, S-Wine, S-Wine. Such an underrated player. So underused in FIFA. You know, he lacks pace. He lacks ability. What can you do? Gomez with a great header. I've got to say, that was a nice cross. And a fantastic header. S1 is one of my favourite Bundes players, I have to say. Him and Royster up front is a little bit dirty, in my opinion. But as you will see from the halftime stats, the game is level pegging. He's had five shots, five on target. I've had seven and five, and I can't score. I don't think I could score if the, if from a, I don't think I could hit a barn door from a foot. Really playing badly. I leave myself so open at the back. Mary Yapper out of position. Sherlock, the new Chelsea boy, slots the ball home after 68 minutes to make it 3-0. We're in hell right now, gentlemen. Believe me. And we can stay here, get the shit kicked out of us, or we can fight our way back into the light. We can climb out of hell. One inch at a time. So yes, we are in the shit. Do you think that the comeback is on? Am I capable of turning this game around on its head? Who knows? We're going to find out. Some nice interchanging play. And what can I say? Mayuka, after 76 minutes, gives me more than a lifeline. I'm on my way back. The light is coming towards me. Or is it going away from me? I don't know because I'm not dead. But I'm outplaying him. I'm dominating him. 
I'm turning up the sweat level so high that I can feel myself melting pu off pure sweat. Basong with a huge tackle into my boy Lukaku. Look how gifted he is. Into Agbong the pace score. And unfortunately, that was a really bad pass. But he makes a silly, silly, silly error and gives away a very sloppy free kick, which could cost him because I'm renowned for sticking these in the top. No, I'm not. No, I'm really not. No, no. But Sean Wright Phillips goes for a left foot shot. Not the right idea, not the best slot selection. He makes a slight error, and Wright Phillips makes up for it with a mighty shot into the top corner to bring me back from the brink of defeat. To drag me back screaming and shouting. I wasn't screaming and shouting, but he dragged me back. And we drew 3-3. And at one point, it's enough. Enough to send us into Division 1. And look at the second half stats. I'm sorry, but I absolutely dominated him. He should be lucky. Think himself so lucky that I drew 3 3. I should have won 6 7 3. He was so, so, so lucky. But that's FIFA. What can you do? I actually don't really care because I've got a draw and we've won a title. That's what it's all about winning titles, getting to Division 1. The question is will I win Division 1 at the first go? I've won Division 4, Division 5, Division 3, Division 2, all at the first go. Can I do it with Div 1? We have had 10 rage quiz. We've only had 14 sweaty goals. We average 4 goals a game. My Uka is a boss with 28 goals. I look forward to reading your comments and posts. Can I win it in one go?